Hi, and welcome to another video on flashing a free operating system on your mobile phone. In this video we are going to flash a Samsung Galaxy S4 with Lineage OS. Lineage OS is an Android distribution that supports a large number of devices and is one of the most popular custom operating systems for Android devices out there. To find out more about uh, the motivation behind this video and about our campaign, you can go on the campaign website upcyclingandroid.com. So the first thing we have to do is click on Get Lineage OS. We've brought to the Devices Overview page. And then go to our device model. In our case we have Samsung Galaxy S4. And the model number is I GT minus I9505. So we click on the device. We brought to the device's info page. And the first thing we are going to do is to download the factory images. So this is done by clicking on get the builds here. And then downloading both the factory image, which you see I've already downloaded to speed up the process and downloading the recovery image, which I've also downloaded. And what we can do additionally is to download the checksum files. So uh, this you would want to save and um, just prepend something like SHA-256, uh, I mean append something and then click on save. And you see I've already done this as well, just say replace, but these are very fast downloads because it's a small file. Alright, so once we've done this we go to installation and a warning box tells us to to follow these ins in installation instructions step by step precisely. And um, okay so going through the basic requirements we need one to okay, read through the instru instructions at least once. Then secondly, make sure that our computer has ADB and Fastboot installed, so the Android SDK, to actually communicate, be able to communicate with our computer. Um, and then third, uh, enable USB debugging on, on the device. And then make sure that this is actually the right model um, that we want to install a custom operating system on and to check that we we can actually use the phone in its stock operating system um, and everything works and uh, sometimes you should yeah you should download the latest factory um, image from the from Samsung in this case to, to check to also make sure that you have the latest firmware installed. And then six, um, yeah, if anything breaks, um, Lineage OS is not um, responsible. Okay, now we can click on show instructions and the first thing we notice is that actually this, these ins installation instructions only work for Windows, for Windows PCs and I'm not on a Windows PC. Um, I'm using a Linux uh, PC here, so uh, since I can't follow through and uh, download o Odin, which is um, um, a Windows program that allows to, to communicate with the device while it's in download mode, uh, which is kind of a similar thing to fast boot mode on Google uh, Pixel devices, I'm going to find uh, ins a page that um, that shows the installation instructions for for Linux uh, PCs as well. So we need to go back to the um, lineageos.org homepage. Click on Get Lineage OS again show discontinued devices and go to the Samsung um, Samsung topic and then scroll down a bit and we're looking for a phone 
that is similar to ours and has a um, different installation instructions page and I just happen to know that GT I nine five oh six uh doesn't use Odin to to flash the operating system. And clicking on installation and show instructions we um we see that instead of Odin, uh in this case Heimdall is used to communicate with the device from the computer. And Heimdall is a cross platform and open source um tool for interfacing with the download mode on Samsung devices. And it's available on Linux. As you can see I've changed the window configuration so now we have on the right hand side a webcam feed showing the device, the Samsung Galaxy S4 and on the left hand side still the installation instructions open. So we're going through the basic requirements quickly again. We should really make sure that we have ADB installed and if you, I already set that up on my computer. If you haven't done so then you can follow the instructions uh, by clicking on the here word. And uh, the third point is to enable USB debugging on your device. I will quickly show show that to you. So from the lock screen we unlock the device, we go to settings and on more we scroll down to about device and then um, at the build number we click as many times as we need or we touch as many times as we need to become a developer um, and now the developer options menu is unlocked which when we click on we see we see after debugging USB debugging which we will enable by pressing OK. Now that we've got the basic requirements out of the way we'll go to preparing for installation which uh, in the first step uh, requires us to install the Heimdall suit. Um, since I'm on Linux um, I follow these instructions and um, after downloading the Heimdall suit to install it and um, we can verify that Heimdall is indeed um, installed by running Heimdall version in the terminal Heimdall version which shows uh, we have Heimdall 1.4.2 installed. In the second step we are going to power off the device and boot it into download mode. So powering off the device just by holding the power button and power off. And now with the device powered off we hold the volume down, the home and the power button. So we are shown a different screen um, which reads uh, volume up continue, volume down cancel. So we'll proceed with volume up. Um, and now we've successfully booted the phone into the download mode. And the third step we can skip since it's only for Windows users and then the fourth step we make sure that Heimdall is indeed uh, being able to communicate with the phone by connecting a USB cable to it and the computer. Right, so now that we've connected USB cable um, we go on the terminal and type in the commands Heimdall print pet. So this is um, outputting some information about the partitions on the device and what images are installed on them and then rebooting the device. So 
indeed the device rebooted and uh, we can say that Heimdall is installed uh, and working properly. Now that the device rebooted into the system, we can proceed with the section on installing a custom recovery using Heimdall. In the first step, we download the custom recovery image, um, in this case not TWRP, but Lineage's OS, OS's own recovery image. Since we've already done that, um, we just have one additional step to do, and that is to actually verify that we've downloaded the correct file using the checksum image file. So image.char256 and um, it spits out OK, so we can be sure that we don't have a corrupted image file. In the second step we're going to power off the device and boot it into download mode. You've already seen this before, so uh, just unplug the USB cable before and then pressing the power button power off, confirming and now that it's powered off we press the volume down, home and power button together simultaneously and we see this familiar screen press the volume up button to boot the phone into download mode and insert the USB cable into the device again and um, now issuing this Heimdall flash uh, command which I'll copy over to the command line and we still have to change the image, um, the recovery file name and this should be the correct file name and pressing enter to actually issue the command and on the device we see a blue transfer bar appearing and now it's full going back to the Installation instructions, it tells us that indeed this blue transfer bar shows us um, the recovery image being flashed. And now that it's full, it's fully flashed. Um, what we are going to do next is unplug the USB cable from the device. And then manu re manually reboot uh, the device into recovery. And on this phone, we have a removal removable uh, battery. so. We're going to remove the case and take the battery out. Now, um, as I told you before, these are not the device instructions for the um, actual actual um, model I have here, and indeed they differ um, in how they how they can be booted into recovery mode. So if we go to the devices, the actual devices instru installation instructions page, we see that uh, with the device powered off, we need to hold the ho home volume up and power button, and then let go of the power button immediately when the phone vibrates, but keep holding the other two keys. And this is different from the installation instructions we have been looking at um, the whole time. So, putting the battery back in, we hold the volume up, the home and the power button. And as soon as the phone vibrates, we let go of the power button. So this brought us to the recovery image, uh, to the yeah, recovery system, and we have a few options here. So going back to the other installation instructions page, we will install 
um, lineage OS from recovery. So we've already downloaded the lineage OS installation pa package. Just need to verify that we actually downloaded the, the correct file. So the SHA-256 sum command again and this time we uh, verify the factory image file which um, tells us okay so we've actually downloaded the correct file and it's not corrupted and um, second step basically tells us if we're not in recovery we should reboot it into recovery but we already in the recovery mode and um, next we're going to factory reset the phone and um, format the data fac um, format data slash factory reset so this is again different from the installation instructions page we're looking at but on the previous uh, on the actual one we see that yeah we should tap the factory reset a menu option and then um, select format data slash factory reset and now we can sideload the lineage OS zip package by um, going back to the main menu and then um, selecting apply update and then apply from ADB and now we can plug the USB cable back into the device and now on the computer and the terminal we sideload the factory image so ADV sideload okay this should be doing the trick and now um, on the terminal you see the progress um, and this is going to take a while to actually sideload this image, uh, this uh, uh, the zip package. Now that the flashing process is, has completed, we are put back into the recovery interface and going back to the installation instructions, uh, the, sixth, the sixth step is optional, um, namely flashing some, some add-ons, we don't, we don't flash any add-ons um, here, and since um, everything is installed correctly. We click on the arrow back button and select reboot system now. Which um, can take quite some time. As you see in the box, the first boot usually takes longer than 15 minutes, depending on the device. Okay, so there you have it. Um, we unplug the USB cable. We should also not forget to she put the case back on. And we are greeted with the Intro OS greeter, which will help us set up the device. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and see you next time.